Here are the dog bones, and we've discovered that they've flattened and mushroomed on the ends. So instead of replacing the dog bone itself, we found that we could buy a whole pack of the cross pins for like six bucks. So we're going to press them out in our press and our homemade jig, consisting of a 530 seconds socket to act as a receiver. So we're going to put that in our press, set it up, it takes a little bit of force because they're in there pretty good. First, we didn't think they were even going to come out. And you'll hear. And release. That's one side. Take too much pressure. So since we're here, we'll do the other one. And a release. Flip it over. Now they're halfway through. Now we'll take it over to the vise and drive it through with a pin punch. Now if you don't have the press, you're probably better off to buy the tool because the press is probably worth more than the actual tool, but we're just improvising. And slightly overkill. Yes. Now, so we brought it over to the vise. And we're gonna punch it the rest of the way out. We had to custom make a punch with a smaller diameter. You see, it's ready for a fresh pin. So, let's post this other one out. A bit of a two step process because they're in good. There you go. Plunk. There's the old pins. Now we just need new pins. So we got our parts in. We got our Huddy drive shaft pins. There's our part number right there. And we're gonna press all these pins in to these here drive shafts. We got a 7 32nd socket as a receiver. We're gonna set it on there and press these here pins into these here drive shafts by using this here vise. So we've put these pins in the freezer. They've been in there for a couple days. That's just gonna allow the pins to contract. And we're gonna grab a heat gun and we're gonna heat up just up here. And that's gonna allow this little hole right here to expand a little bit. So it's just gonna make it a little easier to press the pins in. It's gonna warm this area up right here. So when you heat it up, you can notice a little bit that it's starting to change color. I'm just going to go a little more. You don't want to use like a, uh, a torch because I think that's going to make it too hot and distort it. So we got a fresh pin. I just grab it and it just kind of pulls in there. And we're going to go here.
you see it's just gonna slide right in. Just about there now. Let's check it. See, it's starting. We'll just go a little more. That looks about good there. If you want to be completely accurate, you can just measure the end of the pins. And if they're the same or close to the same, just call that good. Now we can do the other side. If you're wondering about the tape, I have this one labeled RL. That's labeled uh, rear left. That's just going to make sure that we have the drive shafts in the correct place where they came out of. So we're just going to rep repeat this process for the other side and the rest of all these pins here. And that's how you replace your drive shaft pins without the proper tools. We're just making do with what we have. Two brand new drive shafts are 60 bucks. That's for two drive shafts. For 12 bucks, I pressed out my old pins and did all of the drive shafts for 12 bucks. So if you look at your drive shafts and you see that the pins are wore out but the shaft itself is straight give this a try 12 bucks and you can restore all of your drive shafts all the way around 